on lads and ladies just a quick revision of working out the best offer or best value for money and um, you have it on page 163 uh, part b so just a quick reminder of how we do this generally there's lots of different ways you could do it and i know some people will have their own way of doing it if it works for you stick with that way but here is a very general kind of guide or revision the way we would do it so when you have something in grams or kilograms, generally the thing you do is get it in one kilogram. Find out how much one kilogram would cost you, and then you can compare the different uh, the different items. Uh, some shops will do that for you already, and if you look in the kind of small print underneath where it says the price, you'll see that. So the first one is a jar of sweets, and it says just 500 grams for 10 euro, 100 grams for 150, 200 grams for 310, and 50 grams for 80 cent. So what we want to do is put all of those to one kilogram. So 500 grams for 10 euro. To get that to one kilogram, I'd have to double 500 grams. So if I double 500 grams to get one kilogram, I double the price to find out what one kilogram will cost. So it'll be 20 euro for one kilogram. That's the first one. The second one was 100 grams for... 150. Oh, sorry, 150. So I'd have to multiply 100 grams by 10 because there's a thousand grams in the kilogram. So if I multiply that by 10, I multiply 150 by 10, so I will get 15 euro for one kilogram straight away. I can see that's cheaper. Next one is 200 grams for 3 euros 10. Now, 200 grams will be multiplied by 5 to make it 1,000 grams or 1 kilogram. So I'd have to multiply this by 5. So that would equal 15 euro and 50 cent for 1 kilogram. So you can see that this one is still the cheapest so far. Now, the final one is 50 grams for 80 cent. Now, 50 grams would be multiplied by 20 to make 1,000. So that will be 80 times 20. So I'll just do that underneath and we go 80 times two. Well, I put down my zero first because I'm multiplying by a 10. Then two zeros is zero, two eights is 16. So that will be 16,000 cent or 16 euro. So it'll equal 16 euro for one kilogram. Now we have them all the same. It's very easy to compare. The cheapest is the second one, 15 euro for one kilogram. The most expensive is the first one, 20 euro for one kilogram, and then the other two are in the middle. So that is how you work it out. Thank you very much. I hope this helps.